Hello everyone, this is Matthew Miller from the new Nokia Experts website. I wanted to welcome everybody to the uh, the website and kind of walk through a piece of software that I talked about on the site on launch day today, or yesterday. Um, currently have my E71 here. This is the new Fring application. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. It, uh, it's loading there. Kind of get a little closer for you. I currently have my AT&T SIM in uh, the Nokia E71. Go ahead and let it log in uh, to my Fring account here. Now, a couple of things that, uh, one of the main thing that was added uh, today is the last FM integration. So I'm going to show you that a little bit, uh, as well as just kind of run through a little bit of the software here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the overhead light to see if that helps us focus in a little bit on the, what we've got. So, okay, it's now started. If we go to the options menu, we can see there's different ways to talk to people. There's Google Talk Call, Cellular Call, Skype Out Call. You can also chat, just depending on what client the person is in. You can go to different areas, send files, add a new buddy, change your connection, and then, um, of course, go through the settings and that kind of thing. But as you can see, if I go up and down my contact list over here in the right, it'll scroll through the different, uh, like there's Google Talk, over here, somebody on MSN, and so on. Now you hear that noise, that is actually my, uh, see they got Facebook and Last.fm shown here. That noise you hear is actually my Twitter, so if I was to go with the right directional pad, here is now my Twitter feed coming in. And uh, I can also, I can go in here and I can enter my Twitter, there's a line there. I can tweet from there and read Twitter. It's very basic, um, but it does at least let you read and uh, interact. It doesn't support all of the ats and directs and that kind of thing. Some history stuff. And these are the services that I currently have set up. Uh, as you can see, there's Skype, MSN Messenger, Twitter, chat only, uh, Google Talk, Facebook, Last.fm, ICQ I don't, and these ones I do not have set up. I just uh, don't use them that often with accounts. So, let's bounce back here and uh, go down. There is Facebook. Um, I guess, let me see if... Uh, last time I loaded Facebook, it took a little while on this uh, 3G connection. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's pretty good. So, here, um, there's my status. You can actually, if you do options, you can change your status, add your friend. You can actually do a lot more with Facebook than you can with, uh, with Twitter here on this friend client. There's your friends, requests, pokes, photos, messages, groups, events, that kind of thing. It's actually not, not too bad with the Facebook, seeing as how there is no Facebook client that I can find on S60. So this uh, freeing client is a nice solution. Now, let's go to Last.fm. This is the real thing that was announced today. And uh, I do have uh, Mobler on my device, which actually works very well. But I just kind of wanted to see uh, what this looked like on Fring, just to maybe eliminate an application or something. So as you can see here, I enter a name, um, Casting Crowns for one. I can go here. I have no friends on Last.fm. I, I use it just to listen to music. I didn't think, haven't thought of it much as a social tool. But uh, now that I have it on all my S60 devices, that may change. So if I type in an artist name and then I tap select search, we'll see there'll be a Last.fm uh, interface that should appear here. And there we go. So uh, there's a title of the song, there's album art, the artist, David Crowder band is the one they selected. And if I move the directional pad, you see I can toggle through. Now I can uh, go over here to love it or ban it selection. Let's see, moving up and down the directional pad. Up there, I can pause or play the song. I can go to next and skip one. And if my if I do have friends, which I'm going to have to do because let me go ahead and pause it. When you do have friends on here, if you were to select friends, see right now I can't select it because I have no friends in Last FM. See, it just reinforces that you have no friends. I appreciate it. So if you do have friends, you'll be able to see actually in. Um, in the Fring client, what your friends are listening to, and uh, that's pretty cool to be able to share your content with your friends. So, that's a quick look at uh, 
the Twitter client with now Last.fm integrated into it on the Nokia E71. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Nokia N85 and just show you what it looks like on there as well. Okay, so here's my Nokia N85 with the beautiful OLED display. Um, I believe I have it in my comms folder and there's Fring. Let's go ahead and launch Fring. Uh, right now I do not have a SIM card in the E71 so it's going to look for uh, my Wi-Fi network here. Yes, create a Wi-Fi connection in offline mode. Checking for a new version. This should be the latest version I have loaded on here as well. Okay, it didn't remember my login, so I'll be right back after I log in here. Okay, so now I'm logged in on uh, my N78. Try not to zoom in too much. It uh, kind of messes up the fonts. So as you can see, when I first log in here, I see the services that I'm signed into, and it's logging me in now that I'm logged in. And it's the same one, Skype, MSN Messenger, Twitter, Google Talk, Facebook, and Last.fm. And there again, you can browse through. There's Twitter feeds coming through, and history calls, and my services. So let's just bounce over to my, oops, bounce to my services. And let's take a look on this device, the N70, N85, excuse me. And here we are. It pulls up what I had last time on the E71 over there. And if I do a search again, let's see what song it pulls up this time. Really like this uh, N85 OLED. If it was just um, higher definition, it would be killer. But uh, it is very bright, and it seems to... Uh, Save on battery life as well. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, oh, I actually hit uh, search twice while I was waiting. So here you again, you can bounce. Go ahead and pause it for now. Bounce through, stop, next song, friends and love it or ban it. So, that's a look on, let me just show yeah, it's got an accelerometer, there we go. Pop it around into a portrait mode if we like. Speaking of the excellent N85, this sealed Nokia N85 right here with eight gigabyte micro SD card, three months of Nokia maps turn by turn directions, North American version, N85 all sealed, is sitting here waiting for one of you lucky readers to win it. So we've got the new uh, launch contest, five week launch contest, a possibility of five entries for you to get this uh, great device, and also an E71, two of my favorite devices. So please uh, enter. Thanks.